Hi everyone, I'm Tom, one of the children's librarians here at the Oakland Public Library. And today I wanted to talk to you about insects. Now that it's spring, we're starting to see a lot more insects flying and crawling around outside. Hopefully not inside our houses. And we also have insects in two of the 20 Monarch Award nominee books for this year. One of them is tr about true information and the other one is a made up story. So let's start with the one that's true. This one is called Honeybee, the busy life of Apis mellifera. What does that mean? It is by Candace Fleming. Candace Fleming has written a bunch of great children's books over the years. And it is drawn by Eric Roman. Um, Eric Roman illustrates a lot of books. He's written some as well. And he won the Caldecott Award several years back for his book, My Friend Rabbit. So this is a powerhouse team. And together they're bringing a very realistic look at the life of a single honeybee. And if you look inside, you'll start right from when the bee crawls out of her cell and starts moving around and along with all the other honeybees. As you can see, the illustrations are very realistic. Gives you a real sense of what it's like inside the hive. Talks about how the bees feed, how they clean themselves, how they take care of their larva, the, uh, the bee babies that will grow into bee, into bee bees someday, um, how they take care of the queen, how they help build the hive and the honeycomb, and all through their life. It's got some great information in back about the parts of the bee and more information about how you can help honeybees. We need honeybees very much to help um, other plants to grow. They spread the pollen around so that um, our flowers can grow and our crops can grow. We need them very much. So it's got a lot of good information in the back as well. This is one of 20 Monarch Award nominees that you can find in a, our special section in the um, entrance of the Youth Services Department at the Oakland Library. Now the other one I'm going to read to you, this is a made up story. It is about caterpillars and butterflies. And it's a fun story, but not all the information is correct. So don't use this for science or trying to really understand how butterflies work, but it, it gives you an idea. This is more about being patient. This one is called The Very Impatient Caterpillar. And it's by Ross Brock. And as you can see on the front, the caterpillar is saying, is it time yet? How many of you out there are very patient? Are you good at being patient? Or do you have a hard time waiting for things? It's hard to wait for things sometimes, isn't it? The very impatient caterpillar. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're going to metamorphosize. Meta what now? Transform into butterflies. Right, right, I knew that. Wait, you're telling me that I can be become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? Yes. For real? Yes. Wait for me. Now what? Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis, right, right, I knew that. What? How did you do that? Is it a spin or more of a twirl? Am I a butterfly yet? Ugh. Now what? Just be patient and let nature take its course. Patience. Right, right, I got this. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No. Be patient. I have a question. Not yet. You don't even know what I was going to ask. Fine, ask. 
How's your day going? Also, am I a butterfly yet? No, just be patient. We're trying to metamorphosize. Okay, okay. Obviously, I know this, but do you know how long this takes? Two weeks. Right, right, two weeks. Two weeks? And here is the caterpillar inside his chrysalis. Now, this is not quite how it looks inside a chrysalis, but let's just pretend. Oh, what am I gonna do in here for two weeks? Can I get a comic book or something? What if I want a snack? Hello, two pizzas please. My, ad my address? A chrysalis. Hello? Hello? How long have I been in here? What if I need the bathroom? Anyone want to play a game? It's still day one. This is taking forever. That's it. I feel metamorphosized enough. Look out, world. Feast your eyes on this big, beautiful butterfly. How do I look? Transformed? Does he look transformed? Time to spread my wings and fly. Wait! Flap, 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 flap. Where are my wings? Splat! Hmm. Time for a new approach. All right, back into the chrysalis we go. Okay, you can do this. You can be patient. It's reading a book about it. You can transform your life. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. Look in the mirror. Get a grip. You can. I can't. I can't. You are the little caterpillar that could. I'm the little caterpillar that couldn't. You can. I can't. This is hard. You can. I can't. You can. I can't. Can. Can't. Uh, day one, I can be patient. Day two, patience is all in the mind. Day three, be one with the chrysalis. Day four, deep breath in. Day five, and out. Look, day six. Day seven, I'm doing it. Day eight, just be patient. Day nine, just be patient. Day 10, day 11. Two weeks later, how many days is two weeks? If there's seven days in a week, it's 14 days. And I did it. I'm a butterfly. Look how pretty, look at all the colors. You know, the butterfly says, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I'm going to be way more patient. The other one says, that's great. Hey, where are you all going? We're migrating. Migrating. Right. Right. Wait for me. Are we there yet? Ugh. And that was The Very Impatient Caterpillar. So you can find both those books and 18 more Monarch books at the Oaklawn Public Library. Hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you again soon.